Hey guys, welcome to K21 Academy. As we know, Power BI is an interactive data visualization and analytics tool for business intelligence. We can create and convert raw data into meaningful insights. This video going to be more focused on how to integrate Power BI with Azure. Before moving further, let's take a look to agenda for this video. Firstly, we will see why Power BI, what is the actual need of Power BI? After that, we'll see the definition of Power BI and some more information. Then type of Power BI tools. And finally, we will perform demo on Power BI integration with Azure. In the end, we will also share details about our free masterclass for various certification, which will not only help you to understand basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. Now you might be thinking why Power BI? What is the actual need of Power BI? The traditional way of managing huge amount of data was complicated and expensive. The hardware and software resources required to manage them was complex. As we know, data is lifeline for businesses. According to a report, every day we can create 2.5 quintillion bytes of data. And to handle this huge amount of data efficiently, Power BI came into picture. Power BI collect users data throw different different sources and create real time dashboard to analyze them. Now let's see what is Power BI. Before that, what is business intelligence? So business intelligence is a process technologies and architecture which convert raw data into meaningful insights. Power BI is a business intelligence and data visualization tool. With the help of Power BI, we can create interactive dashboards and analysis reports from various data sources. I hope you are clear with overview of Power BI. Now let's see type of Power BI tools. So the first we have Power BI Desktop. It is most authoring and publishing tool. We can create brand new models and report by using it. The next one is Power BI Service. It is an online cloud service where Power BI data models, reports and dashboards are hosted. It is not free service, but we have to pay some amount to use. The next one is Power BI report server. It is used to host Power BI dashboard reports, mobile reports and paginated reports. It can be installed by IT team and the updation cycle is of four months. The next one is Power BI mobile app. It is available for Android, iOS and Windows users. We can monitor reports and dashboard through this app. And finally, we have Power BI data gateway. It works as a bridge between Power BI service and on-premise data servers. To create report on Power BI, we should have some data, right? And this data comes from different different sources available for Power BI. Now let's have a look. What are some data sources available for Power BI? The first one in the list is Excel format. It is one of the most frequently used file system. We can use this file format to create visualization by importing sheet on Power BI. The next one in the list is comma separator value. It is also known as CSV file. We can use it to create visualization through data available on it. The next one is cloud databases. It basically helps to connect with Azure databases and Azure SQL data warehouse. The next one is Power BI dashboard. We can use it to create on-premise reports and dashboard. These reports and dashboards are in PBI format and this PBI file act as data source. And next we have on-premise databases. By using on-premise databases, we can directly connect with SQL service analysis services. How Power BI work together with Azure? Let me explain. By combining Azure services and Power BI, you can turn data processing efforts into analytics and report that provide a real time insight into your business. Also, Azure and Power BI have the built in connectivity and integration to develop complex business intelligence solutions. As I said, Power BI has a lots of connectors and complex business intelligence solutions. You don't need to write any code in order to connect to Azure services like Azure SQL database, Azure storage, streamline analytics, Azure event hub and so on. These are some of the services within Azure can feed the data into Power BI. 
by integration of power bi with azure you can build complex business intelligence solution that provide insight into your business and enable to make informed decisions now let's see the demo on power bi integration with azure so in the first step you have to go to your microsoft azure portal and click on create a resource and search for azure sql after that click on create and leave it as a single database and click on create in the next step you have fill some informations like your database name so let's say i'm writing let's say i'm writing power bi to azure in the server section if there is no option listed then you have to create a new one where you have to write your server name you can type anything and then your admin username and some password and confirm password and then click on ok so i already created a one so let me click on review and create okay now click on create it will take some time to deploy as you can see deployment is complete now click on go to resource okay in the next step you have to go to compute plus storage and there select for serverless so that it will not charge us and let me make it as 15 gb for now as it is a demo then click on apply in the next step set server firewall so that we can access this data from our power bi desktop and we can create a visualization out of it for that you just have to click on add client ip and it will grant a permission right here and click on save all right now go back to your home page and click on database you created now you might be thinking how we can visualize of our data from sql to power bi if we haven't added so for that i'm adding a query just by going to query editor this is a username and password i feed at the time i was creating the database click on ok okay now we are successfully logged into our query editor okay let me add a simple query right here and click on run So as you can see, this is our course table. So I'm adding some data on it. Like if we write AWS and the teacher name is XYZ and then let me create another one. Let's say course name Azure and the teacher name AB, ABC and the next one gcp and the next one oracle oracle the teacher name is uh, mnq like this and click on save now we have some data inside our sql database let me show you how you can visualize this data from power bi you just have to click on power bi preview and click on get started it will download a pvi file Click on it. Okay, now it's asking for the access to your database. So just write your name and password. Okay. 
now as you can see it is connected I added these values inside my quotes table let me load it right here these are the columns I loaded from my database like quotes ID name teacher so let me select all of them and create a visualization out of it let me let me change it to pie chart so that was very simple integration of power bi with azure you can fetch data from sql databases and create a visualization through that data all right that was quick look how to integrate power bi with azure if you want to become Microsoft Data Analyst Associate and want to learn right from basics to expert level, then we have a comprehensive training program for you that includes hands-on lab, exam preparation, and most important, on-job support. If you are interested in this training program, I would highly recommend you to join our free class, which will not only help you to learn basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. You can register for this free class by going on to the link k21academy.com slash da100 02 if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up and if you want to see future videos like this hit the subscribe button that will give you notification anytime new content like this come out i hope you enjoy till then take care